Hello and welcome back to this part of the tutorial. In this part we will be dealing with the login that will set up the session for the user so that they can be logged in and play the game. We will also maybe be dealing with the logout depending on how fast we go. First things first, I've changed the index.php so that it has the session start, the header, and the footer. So what we're going to do is in the header.php file, if the user is not logged in, we're going to create a field, a form I should say, that will allow them to log in. So what we do now is we close the PHP tags and open them back up just so that way the code is preserved and we're going to have a form. So now what we have to do is we take this form sorry I just lost my train of thought because I paused the video for a second. So now we have our form the action will be we'll just say login.php the method of course will be post and this is our basic form so now what we have to have is we'll have our username where we'll have the input type input type that is text the name which will be username that's that oh, don't forget the break line here then we have the password field which will have input type equals password and then the name will equal oopsie, password okay then let's not forget our input type equals submit I remembered this time unlike the registration page value will be actually let's just I don't know let's just throw the name here the name will be login and the value will be login and that should be it let me just check so they are not logged in we are have we have our username one two three one two three password as you can see that's a password and we click login don't forget that login was not found on this server because we didn't actually create it yet so now at least the form works so we create a new file we call this login.php what we're going to do is again copy and paste this index because if there's any errors we want we want at least the errors to be formatted in some way shape or form so what we're going to do is first if if there if there is a session user ID then we're going to echo you are already logged in well actually first let me just do if is set post login if they did if they did click the page then we're gonna throw that in there if they if they just went to login.php, we're going to say you have visited this page incorrectly. So let me just see. If we just go to login.php, you have visited this page incorrectly. So at least that says, you know, that the user was trying to mess around with something. So right here, if they did go through the form, somehow and they are logged in we'll just say they're already logged in so else actually yeah we'll just leave it at that so now what we do is they're not logged in and they did press the form so now what we have to do is set up the post variable so don't forget your protect protection ha 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 so funny username and password will be protect post 
password. So now that we have that, okay, we have their username and password. They can't try to hack our game through the login. Why would they want to? I have no idea. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to do a query. So we'll just say login underscore check is equal to a MySQL query that says select ID from user where user name is equal to the username they gave us. And you can have you can have multiple where clauses in select queries or update queries for that matter. And password is equal to double quotes and periods MD5 password. Let me just go over here or die MySQL error. Okay. You can pause for a second here if you need to. Okay. We select an ID from the user where username equals the username they gave us and the password equals the encrypted password that they gave us. Now, if MySQL num rows of login check equals zero, it means that there was no username and password combination for which the user specified. So we will say invalid username password combination. What you could do here is you could split it up and check if the username is correct or and check if the password is correct along with that username. That seems fairly redundant. Hopefully the users will remember their passwords. If not, that's a feature we can implement later is if they, if they forgot something. But for right now, we'll focus on this. So we have that the username and password combination is correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, oh, sorry, there we go. We're going to say session UID, well, Hold on, let's get rid of this for a second. We have, we have to get their ID. So we'll say get underscore ID is equal to MySQL fetch associative array of login check. So now we say session UID is equal to get underscore ID and we're looking for the ID. Now that we have that, it's logged in. What we want to do is redirect the user to our main page now. So we do this by header, the header function. In quotes, we say location with a capital L. I think it could be lowercase, I don't know. I've always used capital L. Colon, space, the name of the page that we want them to go to. So let me just here uh, echo hello. And we're saving this as main.php. So now if they log in, their user ID will be set and they will be redirected to the main page. So if we go to the index here and we say copophobia. Maybe is my password. Oh man. So here's an error. What we forgot to do was include the functions.php file, which is something I will add to the index page because without the functions, we can't protect everything. So now we go back into, I don't know, let's just see, login. So we go back to the main page, copophobia, uh, that may be my password, no database selected. Okay, now that I'm finally here, I forgot about the connect. Oh my god, I am terribly sorry. So now, let's go back to the index, 
Copophobia. Maybe this is my password. Invalid username password combination. I'm going to pause the video just for a second so I can change my password to something I know. Okay, so now that I've changed my password, hopefully, I will see if this is it. If the password is correct, I'll be redirected to the main page. And as you can see, we're at the main page, and hello. Let me just... Yeah, sure, I'll remember the password. So now that we have the main page, here, we copy and paste all this code. I'll pause it here so you can copy it. Okay, so now we paste that in here. And now what we're going to do is make sure that the user must be logged in to view the, this main page and essentially any of the game pages. We have to say, just to make this a little bit easier, I don't know, if exclamation mark means not. So if not is set session UID, we want to say, um, I don't know, echo, you must be logged in to view this page. And right quickly, I'm just going to set session UID, whoopsie. UID to null. That means it's basically unset. So if I refresh the page, you'll see you must be logged in to view this page. This logged in is just because I unset the session afterwards. So if we go back here, you'll see that. Log in, I'm okay. So now we just add the else statement. So this means that if they are logged in, then they will see this content that's inside this else block. So let me just copy and paste this. Actually, no, we'll leave that there. And let me just see how much time I have left. Okay, I'm going to make this really quick and, okay, so session, this is really easy. Session start, session destroy, header, location, index.php. This is our logout page, logout.php. You can pause it here just to copy this stuff down. Now if I go to logout.php, I'm redirected and as you can see I'm logged out. Logged in, logged out. Here's the code, you can pause it here, otherwise I will see you in the next video bit of a lie, um, I still have like 20-30 seconds left. What you have to do for this logout, you start the session to initiate the session variables and then you destroy the session, meaning that user ID that we said is gone and then we just redirect them to the index page. So that's that for the logout page. You can, that's all you need to do for it so you can get rid of that now and I will see you in the next video now. Take care.